good morning. This is one of my all-time favorite things about van life or nomadic living. Whether I'm in the van or in the tent. I have a pretty nice view most mornings. It's really nice to sit in bed with my little Frankie and my coffee and just enjoy my surroundings. Such a beautiful morning, Frank. I think the sun's gonna come out today. Well, it is out, it's peaking. It's peaking. And the clouds, they're getting to be the fluffy ones with the blue sky. Nice, eh, bud? Nice. This is one of those places that's really nice to go walk around, but isn't like a place you would find on a map or on the internet, or like on Instagram, like nobody's gonna tell you where this is and to come here, but it's very pleasant. And this is the type of place I get to enjoy quite often, living the way I do, living in the van and just like walking from the van, just going out find somewhere nice to park and then just go walk around and see what there is to experience. Which today is this beautiful overgrown road. I am once again alone out here. It is nice and quiet aside from me talking <laughs> and the birds, which are very lovely. But I'm super hungry, so I'm going to make one of my favorite meals that I make in the van. It's something I didn't really eat before living this way, but I eat some variation of it most of the time now. And I really like eating this way. So, yeah, I'm going to make um, lunch. <laughs> Potatoes are my most favorite food ever, and for this meal, I like them very well cooked. So I add them before anything else and cook them till they're mashy and crispy bits, and almost right where I like them before adding the other ingredients. If I added things like onion, pepper, and garlic like I'm adding today at the beginning, they would be completely blackened before the potatoes were anywhere near where I like them. So that does take quite a while, but that's fine because I really enjoy sitting here in my stoop and just spacing out and looking at the trees and the greenery or whatever is out my side door. Timing is a big part of one pot meals, whether it's a soup or a stoop or a fry up like this, what have you, whatever you're into. The order of operations of when you add what ingredients and spices or liquids or oils or all of that can make a world of difference with your final end product. Oh, there's mosquitoes. It's the start of mosquito season. I think I've just traveled to the place where there's 
the first mosquitoes of the year. So, but they're big and they're slow and they're quiet and they're easy to avoid. So of all the mosquitoes out there, these early season big guys are my, not most favorite, but least unfavorite to deal with. Something like that. <laughs> I can see Frank watching me from the van window. He re oh, he's getting up. He's, he's gonna come get in the hammock with me. I know it, he loves the hammock. He loves hammock snuggle time. Hi, bye. We are having a very nice rest day. It's very nice not to drive. I think tomorrow will be a big driving day, but it's Saturday and sometimes we hear people go by on the road over there, but it's otherwise really quiet. There's no one else at this rec site. It's free. It's quite nice. There's huge trees. Well, we've been out here for almost a week, which means today is my seventh day without internet service. It's rainy and I think I'm done in this section of the back roads. So we're gonna head over to another section of back roads. I don't really know what we're gonna do, but because it's rainy, it's a good day for driving, trying to charge the computer, charging up the heater battery, and there's gonna be a blip of service. So I'll probably stop there and see what's going on in the world. because. The way things have been the last couple of years, seven days without connection to the outside world, feels like a long time. Feels like anything could have happened. It feels like I could go to the internet and see anything and I probably wouldn't be surprised. Like there could be aliens walking around in Los Angeles and I'd be like, yeah, okay, sure. So there's that. random bit of pavement in the middle of the woods like I have ever come across. What is this? It was quite the journey to get here from the hours of back roads navigating by map because even Google couldn't find a route here to uh, the trail, which was barely existing. It's very, very rugged. Um, and now we're here <laughs> and we're the only ones. There was a couple here when I got here and they were just leaving as I arrived, which is really nice for both of us because we all got to enjoy the beach to ourselves. I was actually pretty surprised to see their truck in the parking lot. 
uh, cause I didn't see anyone the whole drive after I left the main road I had been on the past week. What you got going on there, bud? I think it's stuck. Oh, it's stuck, buddy. When people think of wild beaches in remote parts of Canada, I don't think they're imagining there's as much garbage as this. There's no one out here to clean it up. I didn't bring a bag today. I'm not helping. But there's no one paid to do it and there's not regular people out here all the time like walking their dog every day, picking up a little bit at a time, making an impact. It just washes in off the ocean and most of this garbage is disposable drink bottles that somebody was negligent with. They get out in the sea, they get tossed around, they get ripped up and they get left on these remote beaches. Along with a lot of fishing trash, bits of buoys, tampon applicators, disposable razors, and a lot of drink containers. It's pretty unfortunate. And that's just the way it is. You drive through clear cuts for hours to get to a beach full of trash. Well, considering it's uh, cloudy and raining a little bit, it is really nice out. It's so neat to be somewhere that I've never been before and never seen a photo of or heard anything about or know anything about whatsoever. And just to kind of come because it's on a map and check it out and see for myself what it's all about and just enjoy a nice stroll. It's really nice to walk a people's trail. And what I mean by that is like one that's not made by a parks entity. They're just different. They're narrow, they're windy, they're rugged. 
they follow the landscape in a way that involves as little alteration as possible because that means work. Whereas a parks trail is built to handle hordes of people, easy, straightforward, hard to lose, and can stand up to the abuse of the masses. This trail is not made for tons of people. This trail is made for a few people to go to the beach. It's very nice. <laughs> it's very nice. This is a variation on the trail we took in. It's very neat. Uh, <laughs> the Salal out this way is very tall. I've seen it easily over 10 feet tall in parts and it's very commonly over my head. <laughs> so this is like a cool little tunnel. <laughs> Okay, I might spend a few days here. This is really nice. And it was a long drive in. Spent like three hours driving today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, well, you've watched to the end of this video and I've learned a couple things about you because of that. And that is that one, you have a pretty decent attention span because some of those scenes were pretty long and slow, a little uneventful, a little unexciting for the average YouTube content. So I must feel nice. And the other thing is that you probably like beaches to watch all the way through. So if that's the case, you definitely want to hit that subscribe button because I have some very nice beaches coming up in the next few videos, which I post rather randomly. So you'll also want to hit that notification bell to let you know when my videos come out, because it seems a lot of people lately are surprised I have videos out as if they don't come out regularly. So YouTube doesn't always tell you what's up unless you hit that notification bell. So yes, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And we'll see you soon. Bye. All right, one more thing before I actually end this video. Since you do seem to like beaches or enjoy watching my videos, if you're looking for more to watch, might I recommend this video or this video? They're both beaches in different places with different characters that I really enjoyed hanging out at. So hopefully you enjoy coming along as well. And uh, yeah, for real this time. <laughs> See you soon.